Hello YouTube Gaming Goddess here with a review on Yis, The Ark of Nepishtim, a Japanese action RPG available on the PC, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation Portable. The Ark of Nepishtim is the sixth installment to the Yis series. This game takes place on a small group of islands known as the Kanan Islands. Our main character, Adol, washes up on one of the island's shores after being attacked by the Romano fleet. And this is where his adventure begins. So with that being said, let's get into the review. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. Since my version of the game is on the PS2, the player can use both the D-pad or the left analog stick to move Adol around in the game. The player can also make Adol jump. There will be some obstacles where the player will have to perform a dash jump to continue to the next part of the map. The battle mechanics are pretty simple. When exploring a field or dungeon, the enemies will freely walk around. The player can control Adol's attacks by pressing the square button repeatedly. Each weapon has its own special ability, wind, fire, and lightning. When the sword's MP gauge is full, the player can press the circle button to activate one of the abilities, depending on which sword is currently in Adol's possession. When a monster is defeated, Adol will be given experience points, gold, and sometimes items and emola will drop from the enemies as well. When the player gathers a lot of emola crystals, the player can then upgrade their weapon. Doing this will increase the power of the sword, but of course, the more you upgrade, the more emola it will cost. Since my version of the game is on the PS2, this game came out in 2005. Konami had made some changes to the game's graphics. Both characters and monster graphics have been changed from the 3D sprites to 3D models, which don't look too bad in my opinion. Unfortunately, the blood and gore was removed from the PS2 version due to the console game rating requirement. Overall, the game doesn't offer too many theatrical cutscenes, but the ones that we do have are of course CGI cutscenes. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst CGI I've seen. On the bright side, Konami gives the player the option to input a code that will allow the player to see the original anime opening for this game. Now let's take a look at the game's audio. This game is fully voiced with the exception of Aldol in both English and with the cheat code in Japanese. Personally, the English voice acting sounds a little bit weird. Some of the characters are also a little more annoying than others. The Japanese voice acting, on the other hand, sounds a lot more believable and way better in my opinion. The music isn't too bad either. The music will change from one area to another, so it does keep some type of variety in the game. Also, different cutscenes will have its own variety of music playing as well. But of course, with both music and fully voiced dialogue, it may be necessary to turn the music down some so that it won't overpower the voices. Now let's take a look at the pros and cons. First, some pros would include fully voiced dialogue, a good amount of cutscenes, simple gameplay, and good music. The cons would include the game graphics lag when there's a lot of enemies on the screen, and the dash jump feature is a little tricky to master. Overall, yes, the Ark of Nepishtim has its ups and downs for me. The story is written pretty well, and of course, all of the events in the game flowed the way I expected them to. Occasionally, I would find that some of the bosses are a little tougher than others, especially if certain weapons aren't upgraded enough, or if you don't have the right equipment. Other than that, the battle system is pretty easy, and it doesn't take much effort to master it either. The game doesn't really take a long time to beat. To be honest, I probably logged about 17 hours at the most on normal mode. Once the game is beat, Nightmare Mode will become available to the player, as well as a new gameplay option called Time Attack. In conclusion, the game is pretty good for what it is, and gets an overall rating of 7 out of 10. I absolutely love the fact that this game is fully voiced. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, comment your opinion on this game as well as games you would like to see me review. This has been a Gaming Goddess Review, and remember to keep on gaming.